Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to feature homemade meatloaf. I originally started cooking meatloaf after years of watching my mother cook the meatloaf and she used the Quaker Oats recipe. Now through the years, I have tweaked it and made it my own and this is my own version. I will give you the base that I use and I will give you the old recipe from Quaker Oaks. I hope you enjoy. All right, let's get started. This is my recipe. It's Jackie's meatloaf. This is all the ingredients that I put in mine. You don't have to go strictly by this. If you don't want something that's on this list, you can omit it and feel free to add anything else that you wanna add. But this is everything that's going into this meatloaf that I'm making for this video tonight. All right, I'm not gonna read it off because I'm gonna be reading off as I add the ingredients on the video. Now that I've shown you my recipe and what I come to use now through the years of tweaking it, this is the recipe that comes off of the Quaker Oats website. It's pretty basic. It's I double my recipe, so that's a double batch that I'm using. And this right here is a basic recipe. Now don't get me wrong, it was good when we used to eat it back in the day. I can't remember if my mom put any extra seasonings in it knowing her she did but i don't know because we were very young like teenagers when she started using this so it made a good hearty meatloaf and it was delicious so and we ate it we used to love it we used to fight over the last pieces of it so you can use it my recipe or this recipe or make it your own like i did but either way if you use my recipe you're gonna be ending up with a juicy meatloaf only thing is, once you cut it and let it sit for a little bit, it's going to be a little bit more juicier. Then when it let, when it sits, it firms up. Like we usually eat it the next day for sandwiches, and it's firmed up some just from sitting in the refrigerator. All right, guys, back to the recipe. This is four and a half pounds of ground beef. You can use whatever cut of ground beef that you want. Sometimes I use ground chuck because it has a little less fat. All right, first we're going to add two cups of ketchup. This is one medium onion, chopped kind of thin, fine. Two cups of Quaker quick oats. One teaspoon of Laurie's seasoned salt. One teaspoon of Laurie's garlic salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. Here's everything together. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and one tablespoon of mustard. One envelope of Lipton onion soup mix. I used two jumbo eggs. You can feel free to use medium. Now that we have all of our ingredients in the bowl, we're gonna mix everything together. This is really simple. It's a really simple recipe. And we've been cooking it like this for a lot of years, my family, and everybody seems to love it. All right, let me get go ahead and get everything mixed up together and I'll show you what it looks like, how I make the loaf in the pan. Before I put it in the pan, I want to show you how everything is mixed together. And I do mix this by hand. I don't waste my time with utensils because I can get it mixed together a whole lot better by doing it by hand. It takes at least a good three minutes of mixing it together to make sure that you have everything incorporated together in your loaf. Now, word of advice is that before you start making this, you let your ground beef sit out at room temperature for about an hour. I had to quick fall this tonight because I didn't sit it out in time this morning. I put it in the microwave on the defrost setting for about 10 minutes, about 20 minutes, because once the outer was thawed out, then I had to put the middle back in there. But anyway, it's still good. I don't have any brown pieces. Nothing got overcooked because I did put it on defrost. So make sure you do that when you're cooking it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan sprayed with Pam and I'll be right back. 
Let me just add that the reason I said you want to let your ground beef sit out at room temperature for about an hour is because you're going to want to knock some of that chill off of your ground beef. You'll be able to work with it better. It makes it more pliable and all of your ingredients will come together better once you knock a little bit of that chill off of that meat. I'm going to spray our pan really good. The sides and the bottom so that the meat will not stick to it. That's good enough. I try to press the meatloaf down in the bowl a little bit so that it will have already started forming a loaf. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pressed out and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. It's pressed into the pan. This is how our loaf looks. We're going to let it cook about 45 minutes. Then we're going to take it out of the oven, drain any of the fat drippings that are in the pan, and then we're going to add the ketchup. That's the last sauce. Some people make a glaze out of tomato sauce i just use plain ketchup because that's what tastes best for me so let's get this in, in a 375 degree oven and we'll be back once it's ready to take out and drain at this point we have took the meatloaf out of the oven we're going to drain all of that grease off of it mm -hmm. then we're going to add the ketchup to the top and let it finish cooking now what I'm going to do is top it off with ketchup. And we got switched hands. There we go. Okay, now we're going to smooth it with the spoon. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more on this side. We've got another bottle of ketchup up the cabinet. I like kind of a thick layer on there. Okay, we are done. And we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes and it should be done. Once the meatloaf starts getting cracks in it, which I hate, it's a good indication that it's done. So that's what it looks like. I have to drain a little bit more grease off of it because it was a little greasy. Be very, very careful when you're doing that because you don't want to dump the whole thing in the sink or what in whatever you're dumping the grease in. So we're going to let this cool for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll be ready to eat. This concludes our video. I'm not going to show you a piece sliced tonight, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll try and make it. Meatloaf is very good. You can cook it with anything you want to. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video for some more of this good old home cooking, hit the bell below. Thanks and God bless.